strong words from Braun Strowman ahead of his Universal title match. But for now, please welcome my guest, the Raw Women's Champion, the man, Becky Lynch. <laughs> Becky, Sasha Banks return. I couldn't disagree with Braun anymore. By the end of the night, Seth Rollins and I are still going to be the champions. Well, not if Sasha Banks has any say in the matter. I mean, let's face it, since returning, Sasha has made a huge impact and she's clearly determined. So I have to ask, has the man met her match? You're asking the wrong woman, Kayla. Sasha Banks is the one with the questions to answer. She's the one with everything to prove. Just what is Sasha made of? And I'm not, I'm not talking about her time in NXT. I'm not talking about her run four years ago, but here tonight, this event in front of those people, does Sasha Banks have what it takes to be great? Because I've already answered my critics with the greatest 12-month run in the history of WWE. I won the Royal Rumble match. I main evented WrestleMania. I beat Ronda Rousey. I walked out of there with two championships. Match of the year, woman of the year, cover of ESPN, cover of 2K, victory after victory after victory, and a litany of first evers. And Sasha Banks dyed her hair. And she, she wants to complain that I got her spotlight. No, I didn't get anything. I earned everything. Just like Sasha Banks earned the beating that I'm going to give her tonight. Because when she aimed for my head with that steel chair, she called for the man. Well, the table is set, Sasha. You ready? Because it doesn't get any bigger than this. Tonight, the man comes around. Well, Banks versus Lynch for the Raw Women's Championship still to come tonight here in WWE Network from the Spectrum Center. Joining us here at ringside, Tom Phillips and Byron Sachs along with Corey Graves representing Smack the SmackDown Women's title. Now this rivalry took a new turn just a few weeks ago and it all hinged on the stunning... Everybody has something to say about what went down last night. Sasha unloaded here on Lynch! And now Bailey coming in to put an end to things. This SmackDown Women's Championship means just as much as the Raw Women's Championship. I won't. Bailey's unloading us, Becky! Nothing has changed. Sasha, she's my best friend. I'm the hero. I'm the wrong. Everything that I can to put this division and this title on the map. And that starts at Clash of Champions, Charlotte Flair. You're so perceptive because I am the queen of selfishness. Foot in this ring, you all are witnessing greatness. Great. I am the gold standard in the face of the SmackDown Women's Division. I'm going to. Well, here comes Bailey's best friend, Sasha Banks. Out of necessity, Charlotte Flair trying to defend herself. Oh, and a steel chair to the back. I'm the role model. I won't be overshadowed. Tonight, the Queen returns. No woman in the history of WWE has ever captured 10 women's championships. Charlotte Flair could accomplish that tonight. Tonight, horseman content reign as a WWE women's champion in front of the peers she grew up with. It was very interesting last week after SmackDown Live, Bailey to win the championship. But the point is, it shows you how little Charlotte Flair thinks of Bailey as the SmackDown Women's Champion. It took Charlotte Flair's father, Nature Boy Ric Flair, decades to accomplish as many championship reigns as Charlotte Flair. Yet here we are tonight. The Queen could reclaim the throne. 
Charlotte Flair debuted on Raw in 2015. Remarkably prolific. The Queen looking to add yet another title tonight. It's a meeting of two members of the four horsewomen of WWE and Byron Bailey has claimed that what she's done lately, aligning herself with her best friend Sasha Banks of the universe. Wait, 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 wait. hang on a second. Wait for it. Oh yeah, real funny. Real cute. Oh, oh. Now that Bailey has shown the world what type of loyal person she truly is, something's wrong with her, right? Ah, uh, Bailey's come on, become what your best friend is doing. To those of us that think logically, Bailey has become the opposite of a hypocrite. And she's still smiling, she's still hugging, and right now, she's still champion. Now, following Sasha Banks, I guess she lost her backbone in the process. Test scheduled for one fall is for the SmackDown Women's Championship from the Queen City. From San Jose, California, she is the SmackDown Women's Champion, Bayley! Bayley still grinning from ear to ear, a proud SmackDown Women's Champion. Remember, it was at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view this past summer where Bayley won the Money in the Bank contract that very night and cashed in the contract to become SmackDown Women's Champion, and she did it at the expense of Charlotte Flair. And I assure you, Charlotte Flair thinks about that night each and every day of her life. The Queen does not want that oh, on her out of the gates. Here's the cover to win the title. Kick out by Bailey. Smart move by Bailey. Rolling to the outside to compose herself. Great strategy out of the gate from the Queen. We know obviously we're in the Queen's hometown, but don't forget the nearly impeccable pay-per-view record of Charlotte Flair. You can't forget it, but tonight a victory would be so paramount to the to the confidence of Bailey as SmackDown Women's oh, Champion. Look at Charlotte wasting no time. I remember, champion's advantage goes to Bailey. Title can only change hands via pinfall or submission. Ooh. Inside the ring, the signature flare chops echoing throughout the Spectrum Center. If Bailey wants the respect, if she wants the accolades of being SmackDown Women's Champion, if she wants the relevance, as she puts it, what uh -oh. better way oh. than knocking off the Queen? Driven down to the canvas. Bailey claims she's no longer going to be overshadowed. Oh, by anyone. And that's the oh right attitude. Gosh. That's the attitude you need to be a champion. But Charlotte Flair cast a pretty oh. freaking big shadow. Claims she is the women's division. That she is SmackDown. And now Charlotte Flair. Look at the aggression oh from the Queen. Here's the cover for the title and a kick out. And you can't argue with Charlotte Flair and that statement. Look at Becky Lynch. Would the man be the man if it weren't for Charlotte Flair? If Becky didn't have to topple Charlotte Flair, would she have the success she listed off a few minutes ago? Absolutely right. Now Bailey from the bottom rope again, trying to evade Charlotte Flair, the official getting in between the two. And Bailey needs a respite here. But Bailey's not getting any reprieve, Miss Charlotte. Nicely so oh, Charlotte is all over the champion. If Bailey wants a reprieve, she might as well relinquish her SmackDown Women's Championship right now. Because she is a walking target, like it or not. And look at this, Charlotte Flair's calling her shot. Oh, into the barricade again. And a wild look in the Queen's eyes. Bailey is getting absolutely overwhelmed by Charlotte Flair. And Charlotte needs to get Bailey back in the ring and finish this thing if she wants to capture the title. Take another look at this. The aggressive boom of Charlotte Flair. Not once, but twice into the barricade. Here we go, here we go. Back inside the ring to win the championship kick out. Charlotte Flair is trying to make a statement here that the women's division goes through her, that she is the cornerstone of the women's division here in the WWE. The statement's been made time after time, Byron. That's an inarguable oh. statement. This is Bailey's night to prove that she is who she says she is. I, I mean, this match has been virtually all Charlotte from the bell. Charlotte Flair is wearing out Bailey. Oh, not barely again. Trying to play some defense, and it's no good. Another heavy right uh -oh. down across oh. the knee. The target area has been identified by the Queen. 
And the left leg in trouble. Now Charlotte Flair. Uh-oh. Trying to set up for the figure four. Oh, and now Bailey. Bailey with the cover. And Charlotte Flair having to kick out. Ooh. Oh, and another big boot. I mean, it might just be a matter of time at this point before we crown a new SmackDown Women's Champion. It has been a blitz of offense from Charlotte Flair from the opening bell. Bailey has not been able to get out of the gate at oh. all. And stopping away on Bailey in the corner. And the official just trying to back up Charlotte Flair, that wild-eyed look in the eye of Charlotte. We've seen that before. Charlotte can't let it get the best of her. And Charlotte's able to focus her emotions uh -oh. on. Oh, oh no! And hey, wait a minute, the turnbuckle pad was off. Wait a minute, cover by Bailey. Bailey retains the title. Here is your winner, and still. Yeah, hey. Bailey just takes off, leaves town. That is a microcosm of this new Bailey that we're seeing. Hold on, hold on. This happened very, very fast. To imagine, even Nature Boy's proud of this move. And watch this. This wasn't on our monitor during the live broadcast. And again, the exposed turnbuckle. That was pure desperation from Bailey. I agree with you, Saxton. It was good for the tactic, but still can't be happy with the result. Modicum of appreciation and probably a broken nose to boot. Charlotte Flair is required to being a sustained champion here in WWE. And we know the Queen will live the fight another day, but this one's going to be hard to digest. I still can't get over how Bailey literally ran out of the building. This, Tom, this is the new normal. This is the new normal for the SmackDown Women's Champion Bailey, and it's sad. Disappointment here in Charlotte, North Carolina, for the hometown superstar Charlotte Flair.